are grateful to our sponsors, Kelly Stafford with Stafford Tree Service and also Black Cow Cow Manure. If you need your trees trimmed locally, remember Stafford Tree Service at StaffordTreeSVC.com and please visit Black Cow Cow Manure, that's K-O-W. Remember, both of the contact details are in the description below. Hi, I'm Stan DeFreitas, Mr. Green Thumb for the Ask Mr. Green Thumb gardening segments. One plant that really has beautiful color. This is a vivid yellow, and you could see how this could brighten up your day. The Asiatic Lily. Now it is a true bulb, and you don't think of too many bulbs growing in the deep south. Now you could grow this in many parts of the world, actually all over the world, but if it's in an area that's hot, well, this will take the hot full sun. In fact, it flowers well in hot full sun. Keep it moist, not, you know, super wet, but not too dry. And I know that's a fine line and people always say, how do I know? Well, the moisture meter could be used or you can use your finger. If it's moist down below, you don't probably need to water. The Asiatic lily is one that's a hybrid. It's from different other members of the lily family that they came up with these beautiful flowers that can be three, four, five, six inches across. They'll come in different colors. You might find them in pink, you might find them in white, and of course this very vivid yellow where we've got, looks like someone's almost taken the little paintbrush and put little dots on the inner part of the, of the uh, sepal. But uh, this is one that uh, I think always reminds me of the, uh, when I used to do a show on PBS, they had the painter and he was always going brush, 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 and the little dots that he would put on things. Well, this flower looks like it's been done that way. The Asiatic lily is, as you would say, from Asia. They think from Japan uh, and other areas of that part of the world where it was naturally hybrid, hybridized and then accepted. I would plant it in a garden. I would make sure it gets a good sun. I'd improve the soil. I'd add some extra peat, some extra cow manure, really make a good planting site for your bulbs. Remember, almost all bulbs need good drainage. So if you have an area where water tends to sit, this wouldn't be the place to put it. If you think you have problems with drainage, either add some building sand or play sand or some little pebbles, something to help improve it. Perlite could be used, vermiculite could be used, something that's gonna lighten up that soil along with something that will hold the soil. And I know that's important to you. The Asiatic lily is one, though it's very beautiful to us and not toxic to some of the wildlife. Now you'll find deer and rabbits can eat it fine but to dogs it can be toxic, and it's especially toxic to cats. So if you've got a cat in your house, this wouldn't be one that you want inside. And if you've got a cat like mine, like Tanner, who loves to chew on plants, I wouldn't keep this one where he could get to it because it could give us bad results. Um, on the other hand, I would say be careful where you plant it. If you've got animals outside, you might wanna put some kind of a fencing between it so the animals can't get to it because uh, it could be a problem. I've seen people put fencing around plants and this would be a good choice if you have a lot of animals like cats and dogs out there that romp the yard. Full sun, make sure it gets fertilized on a pretty regular basis. If you store the bulb, store it in some dry peat moss during the winter season. But uh, unless your area gets too wet, it should come back or it could stay and just be a regular perennial. They may, um, you know, when they quit flowering, you could come off some of the old flowers could be deadheaded back. It'll come out with new flowers. I would typically use a fertilizer that's higher in phosphorus and potassium. That's your second and third number on the bag. So maybe a 21010 or 41010, something lower nitrogen, higher phosphorus and potassium because we want them to continue to think about reblooming. This is a plant that uh, I would consider having in your landscape and your garden. Remember that new videos will be dropping on your favorite social media platform every Saturday at 10 a.m. If you like this video, just hit the subscribe button or hit the bell and be a subscriber. And also thank you for watching.